Rattle with Tits, Cat from Protect Your Reptiles You. I am back in my rattlesnake building, couldn't tell by the sound. And I am doing some more animal paintings. Today, I have gotten a request for painting from Daredevil, which was featured in another video. Uh, he is my baby western diamondback rattlesnake that was born without any eyes. So, He's a special little dude, and he's going to be doing some painting, so I'll, I'll kind of guide him around. We have another video that explains this process, but what I've done is I've set out a few canvases, and I dotted some paint throughout in a few different colors, and I'm basically going to set him down and just let him do what snakes do, and crawl around, spread the paint around, and make a pretty picture. This is non-toxic finger paint that is very washable very watery, it's like kids finger paint, and I have a, a dish with some water inside here, instead of a larger dish, so that if he's making a run for it, he won't just splash the water onto the canvas again. So I'll plop him in there, as he crawls, it'll just rinse off of him, and then he'll be good to go. So let's get there, double, and let him create some artwork. Alright buddy, <laughs> he's getting so big. Okay, I'm going to set you down. It's interesting to watch his behavior though, especially feeding him. I mean, all snakes will flick their tongues because scent is their dominant sense anyway. Their eyesight's not bad, but say ours, for example, is better. And so they do rely more on scent and they have the extra organ behind their nose and the Jacobson's organ is what it's called. And they, when they flick their tongue out, it gathers up scent particles, which then when the mouth, or excuse me, the tongue is back in the mouth, it sends all the particles to the Jacobson's organ that were collected on the tongue. And that sends a strong signal to the brain of what they're sensing, which is neat. Daredevil seems to if he flicks his tongue a normal amount, it doesn't look to me like he's doing a lot, but he does a lot more of with his head touching. He does lift his head and kind of go up in the air like that and flick his tongue, but I'm noticing him on the canvas kind of uh, pushing his chin down or pushing his nose against stuff, which uh, I haven't really seen before, which is very interesting. When he would strike for food, which I say in the past tense, it's cool in this room because it is time for them to go into hibernation. So he's actually cooler than normal because I'm in the process of it now. I can't just drop the temperature, shock the poor little guy. Uh, so he's not eating right now. It's too cool for him to su successfully digest. Gotcha. But when he would size up his food, he would often shake his head side to side as he did it, which I thought was really cool, really interesting. I myself don't know exactly why he was doing it. Um, I'm sure he was getting some heat information because rattlesnakes are pit vipers, and so they have what's called l'oreal pits, little holes between their nostrils and their eyes, or location of what would be eyes. <laughs> he still has l'oreal pits, which sends heat. So he is still gaining information that way. I'm not sure if shaking aided that by kind of helping to pinpoint things by moving back and forth very quickly. Some snakes can will do that um, because their eyes are on the sides of their head and not in the front. Sorry, I can't duck down to point out the fact that our eyes are on the very front of our faces. <clears throat> and for him, his eyes would be more on the side, so he doesn't have the full binocular vision that we have, but to compensate for that, where the fields of vision aren't crossed as much in snakes, some snakes can, will do a behavior of moving back and forth like this, and doing that quickly can help um, give a sense of depth perception that we just have because the field of vision of each of our eyes since it overlaps at the center of our face, we have depth perception very well. So in an animal with the eyes spread apart, 
that technique of movement can help increase that perception, which is really neat. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> Rinsing them off now. See, it comes right off. The water's turning nice and pink. He's looking good. I do have a paper towel sitting here, though, for him to crawl on, but there's more paint next to it, which I don't want him to crawl on again. So there we go. Dry him off. There we go. Check him out. Still got a little bit of water that looks a little bit red on the side there. Oh. And there we go. There he is. <laughs> Making the camera go out of focus. Good job there, babe. But voila! The oh, <laughs> he struck at the camera. Because if he is, he flicks his tongue, he notices something is different. And he, I'm sure he realizes that something has suddenly gotten near him. So, very fascinating. He's just endlessly fascinating. As are the others. But this is neat, too, to see how he moves in the world differently than even his other siblings. He's the only one of his clutch born without eyes. So. There you have it. The artiste. The cutie. The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake Without Eyes. Daredevil and his amazing artwork.